everyone and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching one of my videos hello i'm nocturne and i do k-pop k-drama as well as pick card readings here on youtube <laughs> sorry guys well i don't know why i was so out of breath but i am so excited about today's reading because this is the first time ever i'm gonna be doing a reading for like um what's it called like a reality show contestant kind of thing but i have gotten so many requests from you guys to be doing a friendship reading on so e and sejun of um oh my god i almost said love island uh singles inferno sorry <laughs> of singles inferno um and yeah if you guys are new again to my channel this is your first time watching one of my videos when i do friendship readings i look into the general energy of their friendship as well as how person a views person b how person b views person a as well as what the future holds for their friendship and as usual i just want to make a quick disclaimer that i'm not going to be divulging too much into their personal lives out of respect for them and for whomever i do a reading about in the future but yeah guys i am so so excited and if you guys are interested in any of the cards i use would like to join me on patreon or any of that good stuff i'll have the links in the description box below but yeah without further ado let's just get straight into the reading okay guys so we're starting off the reading by seeing what is the general energy of their friendship and we have the balance happiness direction and bright future oracle jump out so first of all i can tell you guys that the energy of their friendship feels very very light-hearted it feels very very joyful um with happiness it's like they just have a lot of fun together it feels very like effortless you don't have to put an effort into having a conversation or you don't have to think really hard about what to do just being together and spending time together they always have a lot of fun is what i'm seeing um it almost feels like they bring their the childhood side of them out like especially with happiness here and joy in life actually <laughs> sorry i'm just i'm getting so excited there's so many messages so i'm just kind of jumping from one thing to another but um with balance i can see that they're actually very different people um the way they think the way what they find fun things like that just in general they're very different people um but they're actually very good at balancing one another there's very very good balance between um so e and sejun so when one person is being very serious, the other person can be playful. And when the other person is, you know, sad, the other person can be happy. So in that way, it's very, very good balance and very good synergy between them. I also see that with direction, they're very, very supportive of one another's dreams. With where are you heading? I feel like there's a lot of conversations about what are your goals in life? What do you want to attain this year? What is your dream? Things like that. And they're just very, very supportive of one another. They want to see each other soar. They want to see each other fly. Um, and it almost feels like, you know, they're not people that are constantly in your face. Like, what are you doing about this? What are you doing about your dreams? They're just quietly supporting one another and walking side by side in each other. So it's a very, very beautiful friendship, especially with a bright future too. I just feel like, there's a lot of room for this friendship to grow even stronger and their bond to get even stronger. Um, and yeah, and they're constantly there to remind one another of the beautiful qualities they have. So I just feel like this friendship has, yeah, it's very, very beautiful energy. So now let's go into how does So E see Sejun? So actually, um, yes. So how does So E see Sejun? Let's grab some oracles. How does so easy say you? So e. That's such a pretty name. Oops, sorry. Okay. How does so easy say you? Oof, there's two cards that jumped out. One more card in the stack. Okay. So we have the Nightingale Spirit, the Eagle Spirit, and the Sandpiper Spirit. <laughs> so now we know who's more playful in this friendship. So, okay. First of all, with uh, the Nightingale Spirit, I do feel like So E thinks Sejun is someone that is very, very vocal about their. Um, about their feelings, about um, like, as in he's very good with like words of affirmation. So, you know, if he loves someone, if he cares about someone, if he cares about his friends to those around him, 
he's very blunt and he's very matter of fact about giving compliments. So it's like, wow, you look so beautiful today. Wow, you're so talented at this. Oh my gosh, you look amazing. Like he is just constantly giving love to the people around him. He's very, very vocal. Um, he's just very good at communicating. And that's something that Soy really appreciates and loves about him. Um, another thing is that he is someone that is very, very playful. He can find the fun in any little thing with the sandpiper spirit. So even when they're doing really mundane things, even if he's doing really mundane things, he can make um, the atmosphere more playful, more lighthearted, and he's just got this energy about him that makes people feel happy. That's, that's just the kind of energy that he has. Again, like with happiness and joy of life, he is kind of like the rabbit. He's kind of like leaping from one place to another, just having fun, giving people really good energy. And in that sense, you know, with the light and dark, they are really balanced. They are very different, but they have a very good balance between them. Now, she also thinks that he is someone that really has his back. As you guys can see here, it's a lot of birds, you know, like as in, um, but there are different types, so it's like there's a lot of layers to Se, uh, Sejun. Sorry, guys. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, Sejun. There's a lot of layers to Sejun um, that Soe finds very, very beautiful. So the fact that he is very vocal about his feelings and support for the people around him, the fact that he's very playful and he's very fun, but also that he has people's backs. He always has people's backs. He doesn't have like bad intentions with people. He's ma very matter of fact. He's not, you know, especially with the eagle, right? The eagle is soaring high. The eagle has a very like high perspective and sometimes uh, a different vantage point from other people. So let's say someone is having problems and everyone is trying to give uh, advice. Um, he can come in with a completely different advice that some that people are like, wait, what? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. But at the same time, you're right. Because he sees things from a different perspective. And that's something that is uh, very interesting to Soi. And also the fact that he has people's back is also something that she really appreciates. So anything else, guys, in regards to how Soi sees Sejun? How else does Soi see Sejun? Yeah, he's also someone that is able to fully be in the present. <laughs> I feel like Soi is someone who gets a little bit more worried and anxious about the future or, or about the past. But he is someone <laughs> that... Wait one second, one more. Just, just one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> he is someone that is able to fully just be present in that moment, not worry about anything. And that also like she's learning a lot from him she's learning how to be more present too and how to be more in her um in the moment okay um with new beginnings there's also like a lot that she's learning from him there's a lot of new beginnings a lot of new um, experiences that she's had with him as well and she feels like he is helping her grow a lot Okay, and making her realize that everything happens for a reason. All flowers must grow through dirt. So I feel like in between his playfulness and um, just his mannerisms, there's a lot of really beautiful, like, nuggets of wisdom that he provides to people. Like, sometimes he says things that really make people stop and think, oh my god, you're right. Wow, what just came out of your mouth? Things like that. Um, but yeah, okay, guys. So anything else in regards to how So EC Sejun? Let's just grab some tarot cards before we move forward to how Sejun sees Soi. So how does Soi see Sejun? How does So EC Sejun? Just two more. Ooh, a card just jumped out. Yeah. <laughs> How does Soe see Sejun? Okay, two cards. Wow. Okay, so actually, guys, let me just guys let me just move this first because we have a few cards jump out. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, Death, Seven of Swords, and the Empress. 
Okay, wow. So, first of all, I can see that with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, Zoe definitely thinks that Sejun is someone that is very, very, very creative and very hardworking, okay? Um, Zoe definitely thinks that... Uh, Sejun is someone that is very beautiful, very elegant. He is just someone that is very artistic as well. He's very good at um, creating beautiful things and conjuring up beautiful ideas. He's just very, very creative in that sense. But with that, with the Queen of Pentacles, he's also someone that is very, very hardworking and very ambitious. But also there is a very strong sense of stability that uh, Sejun gives Soi, almost like safety like hey i'm stable solid ground i am safe okay so those are really good qualities that so e sees in sejun as well as with the six of cups that's coming out again his playfulness there is something about sejun that makes so e feel like a little kid again like they're just able to have a lot of fun together there's almost a feeling of nostalgia when they're together like they just laugh a lot um and there's a sincerity about Sejun. Like, you know, when he says something, he means it, you know? Um, now, on the other hand, though, with death and the Seven of Swords, I do feel like in terms of feelings, emotions, there's some conflicting feelings for so -E when it comes to Sejun. With the Seven of Swords, it almost feels like she sometimes can't really guess what he's thinking. She can't really grasp him because... It almost feels like, wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that right now? Are you going to change your mind tomorrow? Like, are you keeping your cards really close to your chest? I almost, like, it almost, I don't know. Like, there's different phases to him, and she sometimes can't read him. And so sometimes she feels like she's just really unsure about where, what he's thinking is what I'm trying to say, okay? Um, wait, let me just grab one other deck. Guys, can you clarify the Seven of Swords and the Death? Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay then. Okay, guys. So, yeah. So with with the Seven of Swords, you know how I told you guys, sometimes she can't read him. She doesn't know where, to st where she stands with him. The reason for that is because with the Ace of Wands, I can tell it's almost like Sejun is someone that knows what he wants and he goes after what he wants. He's a very passionate person. But then sometimes he can switch and then keep it really close to his chest. And almost like maybe he doesn't realize it, but his mannerisms change. And that really confuses Soi. So um, it's in that aspect. Now, another thing about the death is like, okay, <laughs> again, again, this is something I feel like he's not really aware of doing. But sometimes he'll give his all, right? With a page of cups, he's like, hey, um, I'm so excited, I'm so interested in this and in you and in doing this. Like he's just very vocal about his feelings, about his interest in something or in someone. But then all of a sudden, as easy as he could give you that, he could also take it away. So sometimes there is this feeling of like hot and cold with um, Sejun is what I'm seeing. But it doesn't happen all the time. It's just something that is also part of his personality, I think. But all in all, she does find him someone that is very creative, someone that is very stable, and someone that is very, very playful. So yeah, guys. Okay, now let's focus on Sejun. Uh, how does Sejun see Soi? So we're going to grab this first. How does Sejun see Soi? Sejun see so e. I'm just gonna grab everything all at once. Oops. One more. Okay, and let's grab. I'm trying to figure out which deck to use. Let's grab this one. How does Sejun see so e? Oh, it's a 
lot of cards. Yeah, all that, one more. Okay, so let's just start with this first. First of all, we have the vulture spirit, the turkey spirit, the bat, and the flamingo spirit. So Sejun sees um, Soi as someone that is very, very, oh my god, what is the word? I'm trying to find the word for it, but someone that is very, very, like, efficient, okay? Um, she is someone that is very, very grateful, someone that is very, very efficient. Nothing is wasted on her. She is very, very perceptive. So, things that people miss, Soi won't miss, like... Even in, in her quietude, she watches and she's like, ah, she picks up on little things, okay? She's very, very graceful. She's very, very grateful for the things she has. She's a very humble person. Now, and I also see that Sejun thinks Soi has a very bright future ahead of her because we have bad spirit and flamingo spirit. It's almost like right now, um, Soi is in limbo and she's a little bit worried about the future. And Sejun is not worried about her future at all. He's like, you need to embrace this in-between moment. It's gonna be fleeting because soon, soon enough, a rebirth is going to happen for you and success is going to be coming for you. So he has full confidence in Soe. Now, sir, we also have surprises, attract, courage, and nucleus. Now, he thinks so highly of Soe and her abilities. The power within stars is the power within you. Like, he actually thinks that he she can, you know, attain her wildest dreams, even things beyond her wildest dreams. Um, he has full confidence in her. With attract... There is definitely attraction here between Soi and Sejun. Well, no, sorry. Between Sejun to Soi. Um, especially with like the moon and the ocean. It's almost like a magnetic attraction. Like, you know how the moon um, affects the tide of the ocean and water. It's the same thing like that. Like Sejun almost feels really drawn to Soi to the point that it's like magnetic. Like he can't help it. Um, she do he does feel like she keeps surprising her like soy is full of surprises and um and yeah and she really just needs to take have more courage in herself wish upon a star and release all limiting beliefs he wishes she would uh, release all the limiting beliefs she has about herself because he truly 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 believes in her um now we also have the three of wands the wheel of fortune the knight of wands the two of wands, the nine of pentacles, and the three of cups. They have so much fun together, you guys. I think in their friendship, it almost feels like they're always laughing and they can really celebrate life together. Um, again, <laughs> Sejun is someone that is a lot more present and Soi is always like looking into the future and planning for the future. Um, and that's something that he's very much aware that she's always planning for the future. She's always looking into the future. She's always like, how can I get better? How can I do this? How can I do that? And he wishes she would just stop. Like I said, it's very good. She's a very ambitious person. She works extremely hard. And with the Knight of Wands, I can see she moves very beautifully. She's just someone that is also very, very creative and very, very passionate it she gives her craft 110 percent like she gives it her all but he definitely feels like she doesn't need to give it like this much because she's already good where she is okay with a wheel of fortune he definitely feels like she is someone that just works very very hard she doesn't rely on just um external forces she gives it her 100 percent she keeps her card very close to her chest and he sometimes wishes she could be more open with her feelings. Mm. You know, with, with the Wheel of Fortune, yes, it's, it's, you know, it's all about like cycles and um, things like that. But especially in this deck, you can see how there's a lot of different cogs that finally connect to the heart and time, right? Time is the essence for Soi. And Sejun feels like with Soi, only with time will the cogs start moving and the heart start moving and reveal itself. And so I think he wishes sometimes he could read her a little bit better. So they're very similar in that sense. So he sometimes feels she can't read Sejun, but Sejun feels like sometimes he can't read her heart too. Um, but yeah, but they have a lot of fun together and he definitely feels very, very highly of her, thinks very highly of her. Okay, guys. So now let's see what um, is in the future for Soi and Sejun. So let's see for the next six months of 2023. Let's just focus on the next six months of 2023.
Mmm. <laughs> okay. That's a good omen. Mmm. Oops. <gasps> mm -hmm. One more. Just one more. Okay. Okay, guys, so in the next six months, this friendship is going to go through a lot of ups and downs, okay? We have the Five of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Lovers, Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands, and Queen of Cups. The good thing about the Soi and Sejun friendship is that Soi uh, ruminates on her feelings, okay? She ruminates on her feelings and she is a lot more like yin energy and he is yang energy again this is the balance that comes into play like i mentioned so even though she feels a lot for someone she will sit there and really like kind of just state all of that and sometimes the feelings that she has for people is not really something that she necessarily needs to do anything about it she's just happy feeling those feelings if that makes sense do you know what i mean like she just she's just happy loving people she's just happy giving love and and it's it's not something that she necessarily feels like oh she needs to do anything about it she needs to have that person um the good thing is that sejun is someone that is a lot more action oriented if he feels a certain passion for something he will literally follow the beat of his own heart and do something about it like it, it drives him it propels him so again yin and yang balance so in the next six months i do feel like they are going to go through a lot of ups and downs in their friendship with the five of swords and the six of swords there's going to be um a moment where maybe they stop talking or they go through a bit of a hardship um but i see that they're gonna be able to get past that and with the lovers and ten of pentacles <laughs> you know with the lovers it means they are gonna have a very strong compatibility um they are very compatible and they are gonna get stronger they're gonna be able to understand each other more again with the lovers as you can see um they're both birds of the same feather they like they're different but they find um similarities in them to be able to work together so and the ten of pentacles is you know like it's almost like a union, right? The Ten of Pentacles is uh, riches and feeling very stable and very content. And um, yeah, so I see they are going to get closer in the next six months, but there are there is going to be ups and downs. And I, I see there is going to be a moment of separation. When I say separation, it means maybe they're not going to be as close. They're not going to be talking as much together anymore. But I feel like by the end of the six months, they are going to get closer and they are going to you know, like be in touch again because, well, the King of Wands is going to keep moving forward, you know. Um, but yeah, guys, so I see that their friendship is going to get closer in the next six months, even though there's going to be ups and downs. And yeah, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to stop the reading right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this friendship reading on So Yi and Sejun of uh, Singles Inferno. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys take care of yourselves. I hope you're staying kind to yourself, patient with yourself. I know it's the new year, but it doesn't mean you have to like start all these new things and put all this pressure on yourself. Just take it easy. It's fine as long as you're happy, as long as you're healthy, as long as you're taking care of yourselves. That's the most and the best thing you can do for yourself. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.